Hey Aries, thanks for checking out your weekly forecast for November 6th, I'm sorry, for October 31st through November 6th. We're going to check in here and see what's coming up here for the Aquarius Collective. Uh, the energies that were coming in are going to be around for a while, even though the full moon in Taurus eclipse, uh, which is going to be around for the next six months, even though it's not happening until the 8th. We tend to feel full moon energy three days to a week before. So we're already starting to come into that energy. So the things that are coming up in this week's reading could be setting the theme or the tone for the next six months. So some of you might be stumbling upon this video at a much later time. It may still resonate. Um, you know, keep in mind it's a general reading. Not every single message is going to resonate. Take what does, leave what doesn't. So without further ado, my dears and my darlings, my Aries friends, let's see what's coming up here for Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising. First card coming up here for the collective is the Four of Swords. Now, Four of Swords can come up for me in my readings when emotionally, mentally, spiritually, sometimes even physically, you've been through the ringer. You've been through a lot. And so this is time that you need to rest. This is time that you don't want to push yourself too hard. And this is time that you need to spend in prayer and meditation and strengthening your faith. I feel like there's a big, big, big shift ahead for Aries where you're breaking out of some massive blocks you're, you're overcoming some massive obstacles, like you're bringing big changes into your life. You're taking big steps towards really big improvements. And so in order to be able to succeed in this path, in this process, faith is going to be crucial for you. Faith is going to be what's getting you through it. And uh, so this is the time to strengthen that faith to establish that connection, to establish that relationship, to process what you've been through previously so that you can move forward in a light-hearted energy, in a joyous energy, and uh, have faith and know that you're going to succeed and you're going to conquer whatever lies ahead, whatever is in front of you. But, you know, right now is time you need to be gentle with yourself. Uh, you know, you, you need, you need to rest, right? If you're feeling like something in your life is stuck, you're like, why won't this thing move forward? Or, you know, why can't I hurry up and find a job so I can move out of this place? Your spirit might be in a place right now where you need to release, you need to heal before you can get busy again. Other things maybe have just been a way for you to distract yourself uh, and like keep busy and spirit is saying, okay, we need to release now. We need to get this stuff out of your system before it becomes an infection, before it festers, before it becomes something, uh, blocking or, uh, you know, negative either spiritually, energetically, or physically. So this time is needed to be gentle with yourself and to process what you've been through. For me and my readings, Four of Swords can also indicate uh, that music is going to be very helpful for you at this time. Say you feel like you're in need of healing and you're saying, man, you know, I can't afford Reiki or I, I can't afford energy healing or I can't afford to go to the Amazon and do ayahuasca or like whatever it is, right? Like you might have all of these things in your mind that you're telling yourself, I need healing, but I don't know who can heal me or I can't afford to go to someone for healing. A lot of healing is DIY, my darlings. Uh, I mean, I mean, healing, healing is coming through our connection with God, with higher power, with divine. And you can heal anywhere with absolutely, without a penny being paid. And so you're going to find this in your connection, in your resting, in your stillness, in uh, listening, you know, being still and listening for your messages. And music is a big part. When I see Four of Swords, music can be a big part of healing. So simply healing through music, you know, music that's helping you release. 
music that's helping you feel and process what you've been through music that's helping you to feel the vibration and the energy of what you want to feel as you're healing so uh, this could be a good time for rest for music for prayer for meditation as you're releasing these things the next card that's coming up here for the aries collective is the five of pentacles now five of pentacles can indicate financial concerns or worries we might be wanting to make a career change or become self-employed during an uncertain economical climate. That's one of the meanings of Five of Pentacles. Uh, that kind of sums up the current climate. So if you are doing something in terms of career change, in terms of business, uh, you will be successful. But it's going to take time because of the economy, because of financial factors on the world scene. Uh, that this profit may not come in right away. This profit may take some time. Uh, the success and harvest may take some time. So invest conservatively. You may have to budget your your resources, your finances, and uh, you know just go slow, go a little at a time. Five of Pentacles, though, however, with the Four of Swords is giving me a feeling and a sense that Aries is releasing here in the collective, in, in the Aries collective as we're coming into this full moon energy. I feel like what you're releasing, Aries, is the feeling or the sense of rejection. Some of you maybe have felt deeply rejected. Maybe you felt rejected by your parents in your childhood. Maybe you felt rejected growing up by siblings or family or, uh, you know, kids at school. And, and maybe you just kind of felt like the cool kids rejected you or whatever it is. Love relationships. Maybe you have, you know, some uh, love disappointments in which you felt rejected or you felt love was unrequited. And, and you, you kind of each time pushed it down, pushed it down, pushed it down. And there could be this inner wound from rejection from not being embraced, from not being accepted. Uh, for some of you, you're feeling rejected because you weren't shown physical affection. You know, maybe you wished your mother or father would hug you or your parental figure would hug you or, or cuddle you or, you know, uh, give you a kiss. Maybe in a marriage or romantic relationships, you've been with partners who've withheld intimacy, physical intimacy. And that left you feeling rejected and felt you leaving felt out in the cold or thinking that, well, maybe I don't deserve it. Maybe I'm not good enough for it. Maybe I'm not attractive enough for it. And I feel, Aries, some of you have gone maybe the other route and trying to validate that. Okay, well, now I need physical intimacy. Now it may have been like I need people to find me attractive. I need to find people that find me physically desirable and so maybe you've put yourself out in that way like to get that physical attention uh to get people aroused because you feel like you've been rejected and and you're like seeking that validation so, so those of you who've had that experience this is something that you're releasing you're like i no longer need this i no longer need this validation i know i'm attractive I know I'm worthy and deserving of love. I know I'm worthy and deserving of emotional and physical intimacy. I don't have anything to prove. And so I feel in the Aries Collective, some of you have been having that issue and you're going to be releasing it. It's not going to be plaguing you anymore. And Five of Pentacles tells us that even though we're going through uncertain times, in that process, we do find loyal friends. We do find a loyal lover, a loyal partner, someone who's going to have our back through that transition and through those changes. The next card that's coming up here for the Aries Collective is the Fool. And this is taking a leap of faith, right? Calculate the cost before you take a leap of faith. Look before you leap, but you are being led and you are being guided into a new direction. You're taking a leap of faith into something new, a new endeavor a new career, a new business, a new belief, a new living arrangement, a new, you know, friendship, a new um, focus. You're being led and guided to make this change, but look before you leap, calculate the cost and know that you're going into a, 
a, a new direction that maybe isn't going to make sense to a lot of people. But you're feeling led and you're feeling guided to do this. Full energy oftentimes is we're being led. We're being led, we're being guided. Um, this is major arcana. So this is something you came here to learn, something you came here to experience. And I feel it's like uh, the energy of like being comfortable with like, you know, uh, going against the grain, you know, marching to the beat of your own drum. And because of this fear of rejection, maybe some of you don't want to take this leap of faith because you're like, people are going to think I'm weird or people are going to think I'm, you know, being different. But but this is the thing that you have to learn is it's, it's okay for you to be different. It's, it's okay for you to, to stand out. It's okay for you to go against the grain. And so some of you are embracing that and going in a different direction. It might feel like you're going the opposite direction of everybody else around you. Or you're focusing on something completely different, right? Some of you are feeling, oh man, I'm about to stand out like a sore thumb. But it's going to be pleasant for you because you're being led to do it. You're being guided to do it. It's taking you towards lighter energy. I and mean, look how happy that full card looks compared here to the Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. It, it's a massive breakthrough. And so it is a risk, but you want to take educated risk. You want to take prepared risk. You want to take risk where you've put together your safety nets and your plan A and your plan B and, you know, have your little nest, have your little cushion. You know, we need to take risks, but we want to take those risks in, in, a, in a prepared way so that we're not dealing with, you know, difficult consequences as uh, things take shape and move forward and progress. Keep in mind with this five of pentacles, especially with financial things, finances may take a little while to come in. So we have to have our idea. We have to have our, 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 our backup plan. Like, what are we doing in the meantime? While we're waiting for these things to grow, while we're waiting for the harvest to come in, right? But definitely a leap of faith in a new direction. Next card coming up here for the Aries Collective is the Eight of Swords. Um, I feel that this is more so somebody coming in and trying to take advantage, okay? Uh, it may have been Taurus that had something here similar. Um, I can't recall. You'll have to let me know. In, in the in the forecast, who else got the Eight of Swords? I, I want to say it may have been Taurus. Uh, I could be wrong. Or or maybe it was... Uh, maybe it was Pisces? I don't know. I know. It may have been Taurus. One of the signs. I can't remember. Please forgive me. But, but if you do recall, maybe you can let it known in the comments. And if people have those placements or if they're dealing with that placement person, that sign of person, maybe you can check out, check out that reading. Um... Uh, Eight of Swords, I feel, could be someone coming in and wanting to take advantage of the situation. They may know you're taking a leap of faith and they believe that you're going to succeed. But they also know there may be some insecurities here. And so they may be coming in and acting like they're going to help you, but really they're looking to benefit. They're like, oh, it was Scorpio. They're looking for a way to, to line their pockets. Um uh because i remember because uh, uh elvis came up in my mind uh the elvis movie right he was so talented he was so amazing uh but he got taken he got had his dad was supposed to be managing his finances his dad didn't know how to manage his finances his dad wasn't good with money there was this really clever really sneaky business manager that was like wow this kid's got something he's real talented he doesn't know how talented he is. You know, um, I'm going to put him to work for me and I'm going to have his dad manage the money. And meanwhile, underneath it all, I'm going to be taking money. I'm going to be taking as much as I want, feeding, you know, feeding my my beasts, my demons. I'm going to just be squandering all this money, do whatever I want to do with it. So if you think of all of the millions of dollars Elvis made, Elvis brought in a fortune. But he got stuck working off debt. He was told, well, you're in debt to me. You can't leave. You're in debt for this, for these costumes, for these houses, for these cars, for this airplane. You're in debt for all this stuff. And so he lived the rest of his life like a caged animal 
being brought out for performances, uh, you know, every, uh, every night, you know, and so he, he was not in, in, in a, in a, you know, financial abundance, even though he brought in all that money. And so I feel here, Aries, similarly, someone is seeing you as very talented. Someone is seeing you as very capable. Someone is seeing your potential, but they're looking at you like you don't realize your potential. And they're coming in and acting like they're going to help you. But really, they're trying to, you know, make you their Elvis, put you in their cage, make you bring in profit for them. So be careful and be cautious, right? Somebody can be acting like they're coming in to collaborate with you, but they're, they're, they're using you in this situation or they're acting like they want to be business partners, but then they're taking you under their umbrella and their thing. Be cautious, be careful. In case somebody is trying to uh, turn you into the goose that lays the golden egg for them, right? And the only golden eggs uh, you lay are meant to be for you. So be careful and be cautious of this. Trust in yourself. Have belief in yourself. Know that you're being led to make these changes. Uh, albeit it might not be an overnight process. You have what it takes to be successful. You just have to have faith in yourself. And faith in your spiritual team that they're going to help you through the transitions and that you will be successful. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more than your sun sign. There's a link in the description that takes you to the scheduling page. I'm sorry, uh, to the weekly forecasts so you can find the weekly forecasts more easily. Also a link in the description that takes you to the love readings for November if you want to watch the love readings. And if you'd like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description that takes you to calendly.com slash amethyst angelite where you can schedule a private reading with me. I am donating a part of uh, the money that comes in from the private readings to buy toys for Toys for Tots and make some uh, contributions this year. I will take pictures of the toys I buy and the contributions I'm making, the donations I'm making, and post it in the community tab so you guys can see uh, what you're helping contribute towards. Uh, so if you've been thinking of scheduling a private reading and you like the idea of giving to Toys for Tots, now could be a good time to check out the, the, the scheduling page and see the different readings that are available, see what works for you and book a reading. Um, a lot of people have been telling me they're not receiving notifications or that I disappeared for a long time. They stopped seeing my videos. YouTube is unsubscribing subscribers from a lot of different channels. I'm not the only one. Uh, I, I don't know how they're determining who they unsubscribe. So if you're not getting notifications, you might want to check. You might not be subscribed anymore. If you're not getting notifications and you check and you are subscribed, unsubscribe, resubscribe and hit the notification bell and hopefully that will uh, reset things to where you're getting the notifications again. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Please come back and check out the daily messages I post on the channel as well. Take care and be well, my darlings.